Hello boys and girls and welcome to another episode of the Iron Meditation, the art of living and lifting podcast. I'm your host, Coach Michael. DIY, do it yourself. What is it? Like really, what does DIY really mean? Is it watching YouTube videos, learning how to do anything? Is it scavenging for free tips, free knowledge, um, unwilling to pay professionals, thinking that I can do it myself if I'll just have the right answer, approaching people and like a beggar that is begging for a change, uh, asking questions just to help you fill this and this gap. What is it really? Because it seems that DIY is a little bit more than building your own home, which is amazing, by the way. So let's DIY on DIY and uh, deconstruct the concept. First, DIY is not a thing, it's a feeling. It's a understanding that nobody is coming to save you and nobody will do anything for you, aka instead of you. And this is our parents' job to install this understanding, this um, relationship with the universe and with the world. So if you want something, you go and get it, which bring us, brings us to the concept of learning and educating. As Stanislavski, the man who invented theater, said, I cannot teach you theater, acting, uh, but you can learn acting. And what he said is nobody can teach you anything unless you are willing and want to learn whatever it is. This brings us to the concept of apprenticeship, as it was in the medieval ages, when you wanted to acquire a skill to provide food for you and your family, you went to a master, somebody who possessed the skill, and you worked for free or for some you know, minor shelter and food for this master, absorbing, learning the skill by experience, seeing, living, breathing the art of uh, being a smith, being a tailor, being a baker, being a warrior, whatever it was. Meaning that you've invested your time and basically your life in that ages to acquire something, to acquire knowledge. This is the true and the only way DIY actually works. You went and did it yourself because either you or your parents begged the master to take you as his or her apprenticeship it wasn't sealed nobody owes you or your parents anything this is the way of the world and it's not personal it's just what it is so this is the basic understanding and when we are armed with it now we can continue Back to our days and to the great man Arnold Schwarzenegger who really DIY'd himself to the basically top. Like, <laughs> if he could have been president, he would. I'm sure about it. Now, if you followed Arnold and read his biography, Total Recall, which I totally recommend, it's a great book, you see that Arnold invested in knowledge and being near people and working near people. And as Arnold said one time too many, I'm not a self-made man. I had people, I stood on the shoulder of giants. Now, any coach and marketing or strategic advisor says go and do modeling. Find a guy who you want to be like Reg Park was for Arnold Schwarzenegger and he did everything Reg Park did to become Reg Park and model, copy, because somebody did it before you. And this, 
bring us to the crucial point where some of the things gone sideways. Because somewhere we forgot the basic universal law of transaction. There is no act of buying, there is no act of acquiring without an act of selling. You want something, you need to invest something. I give you fur, you give me beans. As simple as. Now, the only question you need to answer is how do I want to pay for it? Which currency I want to use? Is it my time or my time and my money? Here's the truth. You can spend 10 years, maybe 12 years, 15, 20, 30 years to single-handedly, as if you are the only man in the universe, to acquire any skill. Or you can go ROI on your own time by investing in the existing knowledge of people who previously invested those 30, 40 years to acquire it. And when you do, is you're living 40, 30 years in a single year of devoted studies and practice to gain the mastery. From this point on, is you accumulating experience to become your own master. So in 20, 30 years, some other apprentice will come and learn from you. This is the true DIY. This is how DIY done. To bring this point home, let me tell you my own DIY story. I've started practicing kettlebell sport back in 2013, where I first got exposed to it in the workshop and I like it clicked. From that point, I hired the coach who was my friend and a colleague at this time. I went to a training camp in Russia and I've met Almost all the people who stood at the beginning of the sport, all the dinosaurs, all, all the like the first source of these people. And I've sat with them and I picked their brain and I asked questions and I did the exercise. And from that point on, I br bought books. I bought training programs. I attended seminars, master classes, workshops anything I could get my hands on now. Here is the thing. First, nothing came for free. I've paid for the flying tickets, for the training programs, for the seminar. I invested in myself. This is, again, the real day. Why? From understanding that I don't have the unlimited time span. I am not a god. Second, I... It was me who did all the reps and all the workouts throughout these 14 or whatever years and I'm still doing, polishing my skill. This is the only way I personally acquired the experience that I have, both by learning from the best and scaling on their previous mistakes and by doing my own quote-unquote mistakes, which is actually experience to understand how things work. So this is how DIY is done. And now you've invested 10 minutes of your time to gain knowledge, experience, and understanding. And now it's up to you to determine the quality of your DIY because it's your life you're building and to use the example of the three little piglets what house you want to live in when the big bad wolf arrive a straw house or a brick house it's up to you diy